when you look, I mean, the field that I really love is artificial intelligence. And there's not many projects, there's not many little flames of hope that have been carried out for many years, for decades. And Psych represents one of them. And uh, I mean, that in itself is just a really inspiring thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm deeply grateful that you would be carrying that flame for so many years. And I think that's an inspiration to young people. That said, you said life is finite and we talked about mortality as a feature of AGI. Do you think about your own mortality? Are you afraid of death? Um, sure. I would be crazy if I weren't. <laughs> and um, as I get older, I'm now um, over 70. So as I get older, um, it's more on my mind, especially as acquaintances and friends, and especially um, mentors, um, one by one are dying. So I can't avoid thinking about mortality. And I think that um, the, the good news from the point of you and the rest of the world is that that adds impetus to uh, my need to succeed in a small number of years in the future. Because <laughs> I'm not You have gonna, a deadline. <laughs> I'm, exactly, I'm not gonna have another 37 years to continue working on this. So we really do want Psych to make an impact in the world, um, commercially, physically, metaphysically, um, in the next small number of years, two, three, five years, not two, three, five decades anymore. And so this is really driving me toward uh, this this sort of commercialization and increasing, increasingly widespread application of psych. Whereas before, um, I felt that I could just sort of sit back, roll my eyes, wait till the world caught up. And now I don't feel that way anyway anymore. I feel like I need to put in some effort to make the world aware of what we have and what it can do. And the good news from your point of view is that that's that's, That's why I'm gonna, sitting here. And you're gonna be more productive. <laughs> uh, I, I love it, and if I can help in any way, I would love to. From a, from a, you know, from a programmer perspective, I I love, uh, especially these days, just contributing in small and big ways. So if there's any open sourcing from an MIT side and the research, I, I would love to help. But when you know, bigger than Psych, like I said, it's that little flame that you're carrying of artificial intelligence, the big dream. Uh, is there, what do you hope your legacy is? Hmm, that's a good question. That people think of me as one of the pioneers or inventors of the AI that is ubiquitous and that they take for granted um, and so on, much, much the way that today we look back on the the pioneers of electricity or the pioneers of um, similar types of uh, technologies and so on as, um, you know, it's hard to imagine what life would be like if uh, these people hadn't done what they, um, what they did. So that, that's one thing that I'd like to be remembered as. Another is that- So the creator, one of the orig originators of this gigantic knowledge store and acquisition system that is likely to be at the center of whatever this future AI thing will look yes, like. Yes, exactly. And I'd also like to be remembered as someone who wasn't afraid to spend several decades on a project in a time when, um, all, when almost all of the other forces institutional forces and commercial forces are incenting people to go for short-term rewards. And a lot of people gave up. A lot of people that dreamt the same dream as you gave up. Yes. And you didn't. Yes. I mean, uh, Doug, it's it's truly an honor. This was a long time coming. I, I um, A lot of people bring up your work uh, specifically and more broadly philosophically of this is the dream of artificial intelligence. This is likely a part of the future. We're so sort of focused on machine learning applications, all that kind of stuff today. But it seems like the ideas that Psych carries forward uh, is something that will be at the center of this problem that we're all trying to solve, which is the the problem of intelligence, emotional and 
and uh, otherwise. So thank you so much. It's such a huge, huge honor that you would talk to me and spend your valuable time with me today. Thanks for talking. Thanks, Lex. It's been great.